The development of the Grumman F-14 Tomcat began in the late 1960s with a request issued by the U.S. Navy for a new supersonic air superiority fighter capable of performing both fleet air defense and deck-launched intercept roles. Parameters specified tandem crew, twin engines, track-while-scan long-range radar, and armament consisting of guns and long, medium, and short-range missiles. Therefore, the plan sought to develop an aircraft which retained the best features of the F-111B and combined them with the top attributes of the soon-to-be-replaced F-4 Phantom. These requirements were improved upon by adding an internal cannon for dogfighting and by separating the engines to minimize the risk of both being damaged simultaneously. After winning the competition for the F-14 in early 1969, Grumman flew its first prototype F-14A in December 1970. Carrier trials and extensive armament testing continued over the next two years and were followed by an initial order for 122 aircraft. By the end of 1988, 656 Tomcats had been delivered and production of the F-14D Super Tomcat model was underway. Internally, the F-14D was completely new, containing features that allowed it to meet the enemy farther away, degrade his radar performance, and respond with longer range, more reliable, smarter weapons. The major system improvements were digital avionics, high-speed radar, jamming communication links, more powerful engines, and improved ordnance. Delivery of the last Tomcat, number 712, was made in July 1992. From the late 1970s through the 1980s, the F-14 Tomcat was considered by many to be the most glamorous aircraft in the U.S. inventory, riding high on its flashy movie star status and deadly combat accomplishments. Capitalizing on its multi-roles of fleet air defense, fighter interdiction, air superiority, and escort, the Tomcat soon gained a worldwide reputation as a formidable opponent. From the taking of the American hostages by Iran in November 1979 to Operation Desert Storm 12 years later, the Tomcat has played an active part in almost every international crisis of that era. Many of its most celebrated operational achievements have taken place over the Mediterranean and the Gulf of Sidra. On August 19, 1981, Carrier-launched Tomcat shot down two Su-22 fitters with AIM-9L missiles after one of the Libyan fighters had attacked first and missed. 
On October 10, 1985, Tomcats were once more on the front page of newspapers around the world when aircraft from the USS Saratoga successfully intercepted the plane carrying the hijackers of the cruise liner Achille Loro and forced it to land. And in January 1989, F-14s once again crushed Libyan aggression by downing two MiG-23 floggers in head-to-head -head combat. The F-14 Tomcat remains in active operational service with the U.S. Navy around the world and will, no doubt, take its place in history as one of aviation's greatest fighter aircraft.
12 o'clock. Apex inbound, drop tap. Apex inbound, drop tap. That's 3 o'clock. Apex inbound, drop tap. Got him now. 